they get off to a great start against us. Uh, we were lethargic. But also, I just think their energy was just better. I don't know if it was us. We weren't ready. They did. Their energy was really good to start the game and kind of weathered it. I think DJ got us rolling. Uh, and once we, once we got our feet set, we just started playing good basketball. And I thought, for, for the most part, you know, it wasn't a blowout or anything like that, but we outplayed him by a little bit, and that's why the, that's indicative of the score. Did you, uh, you know, when you got up that, when you're get, and you're here, you're losing five in a row, they're they one four in a row, and you get buried in the first, you know, six, seven, eight, ten minutes of the game, and and you know, what turned it around? What do you think? You know, what was there any? Was it a play, or a couple of plays that really kind of? I mean, I know you want to be around a nineteen two back yourself, but what? Yeah, turned it around? I, I, I think it's mostly you, when you're behind, you can't worry about being behind. You got to worry about playing good basketball. Um, and we we we're so young, we have. A number of young guys getting a lot of minutes, inexperienced players getting a lot of minutes. So we're absorbing those lessons as we go. Some have been very painful lessons. I'll give you an example. We were in Hawaii. We fell down 16, 17 early in the second half. We, we get the game to four, with 10 minutes to go. We're still acting like we're down 16. We're still frantic, and we end up losing by 10 in a game that we might have had a chance had we kept our composure. I think tonight's an example of keeping your composure. You can't, you can't come from behind. You just got to keep playing basketball. And the team that plays better over the whole 40 minutes is going to win the game. And I think our guys kind of embodied that tonight. What were you telling you guys down 21 to 3 early? No, I don't. Uh, you don't want to hear it. I probably can't. Hear it. What, what are we doing? You know, what are we doing? We're not guarding. They're getting open shots. They're knocking down shots. They're getting offensive boards. Stop it. Stop, stop it. You've got to do the basic things right in any game. You, it's like a football team can't win unless it tackles and blocks. Well, a basketball team can't, can't win if it can't keep the guys in front of them and can't rebound. You know, it's hard to win. They, got, they out-rebound us a lot. Down the stretch and early. Down the stretch is understandable. We're trying not to foul. They're going to get some. Early in the game, that's because they're after the game harder than we are, and then we can't have that. And you, went to, you had zone start the game with the zone, and that's hurt them a lot this year. I'm sure you've seen that in video and everything. And then, then they came out hitting all the shots, and then they forced you out of that. We went man for a while, and we went back to the zone. And, and we, we, we have confidence in both defenses, but we're not really good in either of them yet. We're getting better defensively, but we're not good yet defensively. And you, you have, at some point, you have to be good at something. And we're, we're getting there in the zone, but we're not quite there yet. Um, and they ran some good things. They ran some misdirection stuff, running guys in the lane and popping out behind us. And our center then had to adjust and go out. And you have to recognize. And so they ran some good stuff to get some good looks, too. Now, T.J. Brown, yeah, this is only his fourth starting at 33 tonight. Uh, is that because he should, have, should be starting all year long? Well, he's already? certainly saying that to me, isn't he? No, he, D.J. is someone who, who we know is a very talented player. And he's had some really good nights already off the bench this season. And he's just coming on as a player. You can see it and feel it and being around it. He's, he's learning to, to, to attend to detail more. And that's almost always the first thing that has to happen for a player to, to make the jump. Is you have to start attending to detail, not, not make casual plays, not give plays away. And he's getting better about that. He, he's a, he is an outstanding shooter. It's not a shock that he made those shots. I mean, six for seven is a good night anytime for anyone. But he really is an outstanding shooter, and, and it's not a surprise to me. How about this team need a break from whack play, albeit a pretty competitive game? Right? Very good team, too. And Bakersfield is, is a really good team this year. I don't think we needed a break from whack play. We, we, Bakersfield could play in whack. We, we, we need to be able to win games. I thought we had a good chance to beat La Tech. We had a good chance to beat Fresno and didn't get, get those done. Um, we're, we just have to keep fighting and find a way to scrap out some wins here and keep getting better. You know, like... This is the first time in four or five years that we haven't been in a position when the calendar turned to February to be thinking about the postseason after the WAC tournament. Now, we got it done last year. We were able to get in the CBI, and we got to the WAC semifinals. But part of that drill also is everybody has the dream of going to their conference tournament and winning. You know, you're in a conference. So we're going to keep getting better because we want to go to Las Vegas in March saying we can win this tournament. And, and that takes a level of just staying after it and keep improving as opposed to worrying about where we're standing in the WAC. When you feel you can win a conference championship, you start focusing on where you're standing. I don't think, we're so young, I don't think we're ready to do that. And obviously, we stumbled out of the gate. We're not going to do that. So we have to focus on getting better and acquiring some wins as we go through the door. Excuse me. George? That's it? Yep.